This is part five of Understanding Condition Techniques. I need to actually uh, explain to you what is the, uh, or rather, how these routines are useful to actually calculate the condition value using some programs. Let me uh, try my best. It's a difficult subject to understand, but I'll try my best to make it actually uh, simple. Just highlight this net value and then click on the ABOP routine. These are all uh, SAP delivered custom programs which can be used for your requirements. If any of these requirements does not suit your business requirement, you can create a BOP coding with the help of an ABOPer, and I'd find it here. Okay, let's look at this ABOP coding now. What the coding is doing is that it is assigning NetWR field value to this field value. Let us understand what this comp NetWR field value does. This is a special system field. Comp table is actually referring to the sales order tables. So this field here is actually the net value of the sales order line items. It's the net value of the sales order line items which the system will compute automatically based on a certain field defined formula. The formula that it uses is that it will sum the price of the product plus the freight condition minus the discount from these two values. The calculation is something like this. Comp Let me copy instead of writing it. Okay, let me copy this. Comp is equivalent to price plus freight condition minus discounts. Does this make sense? So, after this formula is applied, we can conclude that this value will hold the net sales value of the line item. And the other thing I want to explain to you is that, uh, let me open a sales order first so we can discuss better. BA03, let's open whatever sales order which comes up. Okay, let me open this. All right, this is our sales order. Let me take you to the conditions. Okay, the pricing procedure that you're seeing in the previous screen is actually shown here also. So, Whatever calculation that we configured here using our condition types is actually applicable for each and every sales order line item respectively. So this means that uh, if you have additional line items here, you can highlight the line item and click condition so that you'll get another set of condition types. To watch the full video, buy our SAP training videos at www.erptraining9.com.